through the ages there has been a myriad of mysteries hidden by the sands of time. Not all are meant to remain hidden and lurk on the outside of our wildest imaginations. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three awe-inspiring discoveries that could reshape the very way we view our past and our planet. Researchers claim Royal Navy discovered the Titanic in 1977. As far as history recalls, the Titanic was found at the bottom of the ocean in 1985 by Dr. Robert Ballard, the famous oceanographer who has been credited with the extraordinary discovery. However, a researcher of the Royal Navy claims that they found the elusive Titanic several years prior in 1977. The US Navy hired Dr. Robert Ballard in 1985 to be a part of a secret investigation into searching for the remains of the USS Thresher and USS Scorpion, both nuclear submarines in the North Atlantic Ocean. Ballard's search and the investigation concluded with him declaring that neither of the two nuclear submarines posed any danger to the planet or ocean landscape. Dr. Ballard managed to execute the research in such a time-effective manner that he still had time to spare to explore the mysterious depths of the Atlantic. As if led by the hands of fate, Dr. Ballard stumbled across excessive shipwreck debris which led them straight to the long-thought lost RMS Titanic, which sunk several decades prior in 1912, at the very start of the 20th century. Dr. Ballard declared this amazing discovery and the whole world celebrated, having believed that all remaining traces of the Titanic would remain in the fading memories and articles from the early 20th century and in eventual legend. As a result, the US Navy were able to conceal the true mission at the time under the guise of searching for the Titanic. Except now, the sudden claims of the Royal Navy discovering it sooner leaves many new, fascinating questions to be answered. Steve Anderson, a Royal Navy researcher, claims that they found the wreck in 1977, but this raises intrigue as to why the Royal Navy kept it secret. Anderson claims it was due to the advanced technology they were using and wanted to keep it a secret from the public. Allegedly, they too were seeking the Russian submarines in the Atlantic, and during this, they found debris they identified as having been a part of the Titanic. The silence over their finding was supposedly a strategy against the Royal Navy's enemies and rivals. Steve Anderson claims, in 1977, the British were conducting top-secret tests of new deep-sea underwater sonar equipment, which was to be used in locating and detecting Russian nuclear submarines. It is now a known fact that these Russian nuclear submarines were hiding in the deep waters off the North Atlantic coast around New Brunswick and Greenland. Anderson has titled the claims Under Project Solace and written about his thoughts and beliefs regarding Dr. Ballard and also the truth behind the situation. He states, During one of these top-secret tests in 1977 of the new deep underwater sonar, two very large metallic objects were located in the general vicinity and depth where Dr. Ballard located the wreck in 1985. Anderson believes that Ballard's credit for having been the one to find the Titanic's remains is invalid and untrue even stating he thinks it to be more than a coincidence that this was linked with the US Navy's mission that was so similar to the Royal Navy's alleged mission in 1977. Currently, whether or not Anderson is right remains up for speculation, with many criticizing his claims for the lack of evidence. Antarctica's melting doomsday glacier could raise sea levels by 10 feet. According to scientists, one of the most crucial Antarctic glaciers is on the verge of melting. Global warming and rising temperatures are slowly eating away at the icy glaciers of our poles, and if conditions do not improve soon, it's likely that all the glaciers in Antarctica will be endangered. The glacier known as the Thwaites Glacier lies in western Antarctica, in the Amundsen Sea. Unfortunately, researchers claim that the Amundsen Sea is among one of the most vulnerable regions of the Antarctic. The Thwaites Glacier goes by a different name, the Doomsday Glacier. It turns out that the glacier is melting at a completely faster rate than scientists previously anticipated. 
The waters in which the Doomsday Glacier reside are warming far too rapidly and intensely, raising serious concerns about our future. The Doomsday Glacier is estimated to be the size of the state of Florida. The University of South Florida's marine science researchers have been mapping the seafloor close to the Thwaites to determine what area the glacier is melting at the quickest. In 2020, a satellite image showed the Thwaites Glacier as having an immense number of new fractures than in the previous images from earlier years. This shows the ice has become significantly frailer and thinned over a span of only 10 years. More than 160 parallel ridges formed during that time. This is because the glacier itself is moving away from its grounding zone. As it turns out, researchers have discovered that the Thwaites moves at a shocking 2.1 kilometers annually, which, for glaciers and icebergs, is an extraordinarily high speed of movement. This is what causes the increased ridges. Underneath the icy waters of the ocean, the glacier possesses rib-like qualities. Scientists believe each rib shapes itself in only a day and is a direct result of the glacier's rapid, unpredictable movements. In October 2018, the Thwaites iceberg experienced a tragic event where a huge chunk of its ice broke from the mother formation. The same occurred in February of 2020, when the glacier first started moving suddenly. This foreshadows even further and more devastating breakoffs of more ice in the future. The ice shelves still on the Thwaites are heavily susceptible to caving and melting, now more than ever. The slightest change in our climate, the atmosphere or even in the ocean will be enough to further ruin the glacier. In a scenario where the huge iceberg completely crumbles, it would cause a domino effect to the surrounding glaciers wherein they too will granulate. This could have massive consequences on the ocean level and cause immense destruction around the world. Scientists predict that should this occur, the water level could rise by a whole 10 feet abruptly. According to research conducted by the University of Boulder, Colorado, the Thwaites Glacier is only able to hold on for another several years before it will break apart. Robert Larter, an Antarctic marine geophysicist, states, Thwaites is really holding on today by its fingernails, and we should expect to see big changes over small timescales in the future, even from one year to the next, once the glacier retreats beyond a shallow ridge in its bed. RAN, a robotic vehicle with innovative technological imaging sensors created by Swedish, UK and US scientists, is tasked with keeping watch over the glacier and updating its current geographical state. Oceanographer Anna Wallen refers to the RAN robot as a pioneering study of the ocean floor and claims the images RAN collected give us vital insights into the processes happening at the critical junction between the glacier and the ocean today making it useful in our preparation of how to handle this potential crisis. Ancient coral reef is found in a vast Australian desert. The last place you would expect to find a coral reef is in the middle of a desert. As it turns out, that is exactly the case in Nullarbor Plain, Australia. In the Nullarbor Plain, an ancient coral reef has laid preserved for several million years, concealed from sight and memory until now. The desert itself is an expanse of 600 miles and lies flat, lacking mounds or hills, and is composed primarily of limestone bedrock. It was not always this way. Once upon a time, this landmass had a massive ancient ocean in its center, and the whole desert was underwater. It was during this time that a coral reef formed, Scientists came upon this finding using advanced satellite technology. According to Milo Barham, from the Curtin University of Australia, unlike many parts of the world, large areas of the Nullarbor Plain have remained largely unchanged by weathering and erosion processes over millions of years, making it a unique geological canvas recording ancient history in remarkable ways. Furthermore, Dr. Barham claims, through high-resolution satellite imagery, and fieldwork, we have identified the clear remnant of an original seabed structure preserved for millions of years, which is the first of this kind of landform discovered on the Nullarbor Plain. The geological area is in a ring-like shape at an elevated geophysical level than the rest of the desert. 
The ancient reef spans an approximated 1300 meters in length and possesses a dome-like shape at its core. This mound could not have formed by normal mountainous means or natural deformation. To add to the reef theory, microbes from the Great Barrier Reef have been found inside samples of the structure. Dr. Barham suggests that the finding is owed largely due to the great advancement in satellite technology that allowed the team to access the highly detailed images of the desert in order to analyze and process the data, making it possible to outline the natural environmental history of the Nullarbor Plains. It has been about 14 million years since the Nullarbor Plains had any water on its surface, having dried up sometime during the middle of the Cenozoic era. The plains remained more or less the same since, but we could use this finding to discover more about previous geological eras all the way back to the Miocene. But what do you make of these discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.